the zones of regulation. There are no bad feelings. All feelings are okay to have. What matters is how you respond to your feelings. For example, it is okay to feel angry, but it's not okay to hurt someone out of anger. The Zones of Regulation is a program that helps us better understand our feelings and emotions, which then help us to better self-regulate when we are feeling different feelings. There are four zones that we use to describe how your brain and body feel. Green Zone. The Green Zone is like a green traffic light. When you are in the Green Zone, you are good to go. You feel happy, calm, focused, and ready to learn when you are in the Green Zone. Yellow Zone. When you are starting to enter the yellow zone, you need to proceed with caution and slow down. The yellow zone describes when you start to lose control. You might be feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, silly, excited, nervous, worried, scared, upset, jealous, and even surprised. Red zone. The red zone is for extreme emotions like uncontrolled anger, feeling terrified, and aggressive like hitting, yelling, kicking, and pushing. You might also feel elated in the red zone, which is when you are so excited that you can't keep your body in control. When you reach the red zone, you are out of control, and you will have trouble making good decisions. You must stop. Blue zone. When you are in the blue zone, your body is slow moving. You might be feeling tired, sick, sad, bored, shy, or hurt. When you move to the blue, yellow, or red zones, you are most likely showing unexpected behaviors like calling out, talking to friends when you should be listening, making noises, and being unkind. Unexpected behaviors can make others around you feel annoyed, uncomfortable, and it affects their zone. It may cause that person to have negative thoughts about you, like they don't want to play with you at recess anymore. When this happens, you need to figure out ways to get back to the green zone, where you show expected behaviors. This is when you need to use your coping skills. Coping skills are things like taking deep breaths, taking a break, positive self-talk, getting a drink, stretching, and the list goes on. What you use as a coping skill at home might be different than what you use at school. Today you are going to create your own zones toolbox. You will be listing coping skills to help you wake up and get refocused when in the blue zone. You will be listing coping skills that will help you stay focused and calm in the green zone if you start to feel like you are moving to another zone. Lastly, you will be listing coping skills for the yellow and red zones. Remember, it is okay to have the same coping skill in more than one zone. The most important thing is that when you recognize that you are starting to move out of the green zone to another zone, you use one of your tools to get back to the green zone. This is what self-regulation is all about.